Three, two, A1. Uh, uh, let me play from the beginning. you teach maybe uh, a younger student to get that 3-3-2 rhythm? Just like that. Yeah, okay. Um, they might find that tricky at the beginning. Do you think sometimes maybe dividing it with um, a slow metronome to start with at a quaver pulse? So for example, if you did a quaver pulse of um, like 120, Right. Um, and then you could yes. build up the speed later. Mm -hmm. Do you think there, you know, are, there are accents in bar five? Bar five. Or should it be unaccented? Yes, I was in panic five minutes ago, and yeah. I'm wondering how to how to how to count the beat in bar eight. If you are in panic, uh, it's with a purple read. Uh, so yeah. even is is a ritardando. Uh, I should keep counting the beat in my mind. Right. But the thing is, once you get to a certain level in quaver pulse, so if you've got 120 on the quaver pulse, for example, we're just doing that, mm -hmm. do that last line. Without the writ, two, three, and one. Right? But then you can change that mm -hmm. to a 60 and get them used to a 60 pulse. Same speed. So you convert the quaver pulse into a crotchet pulse without changing the speed. And then eventually you can get that gradually building up to. Oh, OK. Yeah. So I'll the metronome and use graduations, very, very tiny steps to build up to the full speed if they're finding difficulty with the rhythm.